Here comes Miletia Laurenti. You've seen her before, I should think. She's been with us a little while for sale. But we're rep representing her because she's just been blacked and just had a hull survey, which is available in the office for inspection, um, which was fine. Um, she's a 59-foot reversal out cruiser. She was built in 2011 by JD Narrowboats. The fit-out is superb. Miletia Laurenti is actually the Latin for the name for the wood which most of the boat is fitted out in. It's in English, it's Wenge wood, and it comes from Central and West Africa. It's a dark wood. The boat's fitted out with that and sycamore. Paintwork's lovely, as you can see. She was fully repainted in 2020 by Barry Smith at Hill Morton. There are covers for the front and rear deck for the weather in the winter to keep the elements off. Nice big windows. And the cruiser stern itself is, is really lovely, actually. You'll get a feel for what the wood's like. It's this dark wood, Wenge, and the lighter wood is sycamore. Really lovely to mount all table and a couple of bench seats either side. That demountable table stores under the breakfast bar in the kitchen when not being used. There's the view from the helm. And in we go. Looking forward to showing you this. This is really, really lovely. Head height on the boat, well I think of it, is six foot three. All the lights are LED, including under the front and rear st steps. Look at all the curves. I mean, the, the, the craftsmanship's just amazing, I think. That's a diesel lock gate stove. All the curves on the cupboard doors, look. Then here's the electrics and the isolation switches and things. The inverter's there. It's a Victron MultiPlus 3 kilowatt inverter charger. I'll just show you the quality of this woodwork. I can't remember what you call those joints. Ah, dovetail, dovetail joints, that's what the word I was looking for. Cupboards, there's a lot of storage on this boat, huge amounts. We've got cupboards all the way under the gunnel down here. All these doors with the nice um, inlays. There's the hi-fi, there's a free sat receiver, DVD plan, a hi-fi unit there with speakers fitted in the ceiling. And this is a nifty bit of kit. There's remote control, press one button, <laughs> hey presto. The television appears. It's a 25 inch Lowry television. Another press of the button and it disappears again. All cupboards here. Little drawer at the top. And the same next to it. The flooring under this carpet, by the way, is Wenge as well. Really lovely. That's a sofa bed, elite furnishings. Lots of storage underneath, that just lifts up. So that turns into a spare double if you have guests on board. And the saloon itself, 13 feet 7 inches. Here's a breakfast bar under the, um, the side hatch. On the port side, lovely curves again. Real feature of this boat, actually. A couple of bar stools. This is quite clever as well. There's another remote control. You press it, it pops up slightly. There we go. And there's a little wine cooler. Or drinks cooler, doesn't have to be wine, of course. Don't know why more boats don't make use of the storage under the floor. Into the galley, 12 feet 4 inches long, so it's huge. Beautifully curved doors. I'd quite like to know how you make curved doors, actually, because wood doesn't grow curved. Anyway, I'm sure somebody with more knowledge out there than me will let us know. There's a stainless steel sink with a drainer. Lots and lots of storage underneath. There's cupboards everywhere on this boat. Which is a good thing. You can see the floor here. It's really lovely. Very hard wearing as well, actually. So there's a view back down the galley. It's unique, this boat, I think. Four burner gas hob. That's a country ledger gas hob, and the oven and grill is a belling. It's an 11 bottle wine rack there. Really good use of space. and more curvy cupboards along the starboard side here. A 
couple of cupboards under here. Lots of space in the galley, lots of work surface, lots of places to put things. Drawers and cupboards squirreled away everywhere. <laughs> Billy's doing his best to show you them all. <laughs> That's quite neat for champagne glasses. Here's the uh, the oven and grill I mentioned. There's a microwave as well there. It's a 230 volt Lek fridge with an ice box. Really unusual the layout actually. I love it. The bathroom's a walkthrough arrangement. A sink is ceramic on top of a wengi surface. And the curvy cupboard underneath it. It's a Jabsco pump out loo with a 200 litre holding tank. The bathroom itself is seven feet long. So it's a decent size actually. Shelves up there, and another cupboard up here. So that's the bathroom, a decent sized shower as well. And the bedroom's in the forward cabin. The bedroom is 10 feet long. The bed is a cross bed. It's six feet, two inches, six foot one inches long, four and a half feet wide. It's got a new sprung mattress as well. There's a really good sized wardrobe. Little lockers either side of the bed. And lots of cupboards over. There's a little locker. Feels like a posh hotel room, this bedroom. Television on the wall there, that's a 15 inch TV DVD. There are bungs for the portholes in here. And another decent sized wardrobe there with a dressing mirror on the inside of the door. The well deck is four feet long. I think I mentioned there's a cover for here for the winter. There are cushions for these seats and lockers, the storage underneath. And the gas bottles are in this locker here in the bowels. 213 kilos. Plenty of navigation equipment on board. There's also a portable air conditioning unit actually. Right, we'll have another walk back through. Water tank is stainless steel, 590 litres. There are five domestic batteries on board, 110 amp hours each, one starter battery. There is a landline. There's actually 22 230 volt sockets through the boat. Lovely bathroom. Hot water is uh, heated by the engine and the central heating on board is an Eberspacher diesel fire central heating system. That heats the water as well. Three radiators and a towel rail on board. And the chlorifier, the hot water tank is um, 65 litres. Out onto the back deck. Let's have a look in the engine room. The engine itself is a Beta 43. PRM 150 hydraulic gearbox. And uh, it's worth noting actually that it's got an Axiom propeller on board. I couldn't believe the difference it makes to driving a boat the first time I drove a boat with an Axiom propeller. So there we go, really lovely boat, Melesia Laurenti. For further photographs, fully downloadable colour brochure and the price, go to our website www.rugbyboats.co.uk.